Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see how to automatically edit out parts of a video which are silent so you don't have to manually cut these out one by one when you're editing a video after recording it. We'll use something called Jump Cutter, which is a very small piece of Python code along with FFmpeg which you can install on Windows, Mac, and Linux. The author of this little piece of Python code is this person here and this is his GitHub. I'm not going to be using something exactly the same as he has done it because I needed to modify it a little bit. So you can actually Actually go to here and I wanted to clarify this was not my code but rather his or you can use mine which is just slightly modified and I'll keep on tweaking this later on in the future as well either way they do about the same I just made sure that in this case everything is automatic and there's no errors that come out from anything that's missed so we're going to use my repository in this case instead of his but you can use either one freely on top of that both of these are open source so you can modify them as you wish now to be able to use this on a Chromebook you need to first make sure your Linux container is up and running to do that, just go to settings, click on Linux beta here to the left. When it's here, I have mine already activated, but you'll find a button that says turn on. Click on that, then click on next, and then change your username to what you want, and it adds some space. 32 gigabytes and above is what you should be looking for. If you can't add that much, add what you can, and then activate that. Once that's activated and it's been installed, a Linux terminal will pop up and will work on everything else from there. Once the Linux terminal is up and running, you're going to paste the following code in here so we can make sure everything is up to date. I'm also adding within this code the possibility of downloading the code from the GitHub repository so you don't have to do that either. So this will bring you up to date on everything and everything we need so you can run this immediately after everything has been installed. So after you paste this with Control shift v just click on enter and you can continue on. We'll come back when this is all installed. Once that's finished, you can type in the following which will allow us to see what the options are for this code. We click on enter and we'll see various things. So my goal is not to go through each one of these, but just so you know, it does give you you a fairly good idea of what each option can do so you can tweak this as much as you like. Either way what I have done is give a pre-configuration that you can use that 90% of the time will be more than enough and you don't have to worry about these precise configurations themselves. After looking through this you can just type clear so we can do the next step. So we have a video here that I pre-recorded that has a lot of silence inside of it. This is actually a total of nine seconds but I have a fair amount of space that's silent within this video. I just want to use this to show you guys that this will work. Given the fact that I'm actually using this code on this video right now, I'm not going to be able to show you the silence because it will cut that silence out as well. So what we're going to do here is just going to have to trust me. And when I say that it's nine seconds, the outcome will be much shorter because it will have taken out all the spaces where there were silence. In order to use this video, we need to make sure that it is found in the Linux container. Otherwise, the code will not know where to look. In this case, you need to make sure you go to your files app and you need to make sure that this has been moved, as you can see here, to the Linux files container. This will copy this here so we can use it for our example. Once that's there, we can go back to our terminal. Coming back to the terminal, we'll paste in the following, which I will also put in the description under the video. All the essential configurations are already set, and like I said, most time you will not have to touch them. The only thing you'll have to do is make sure that the title of the old file is set here, and the new file is set here. Those are the only two things that essentially you'll have to change whenever you want to use this. Everything else, like I said before, can remain the same. But essentially what's happening here is that we're saying that that area in the video where there is sound, we're going to leave it at the normal velocity, and that part in the video which is silent, we're going to speed it up to compress it to such a degree that it essentially cuts that part out. As you can see, it's already begun the process, and it will start transforming this to get rid of the silence. Now, our video here was very, very small, so it did this very quickly. But if you have a 20-minute video, this will take a fair amount of time. It is not something immediate. It's just because of the fact this video was only nine seconds long. So now that this is done, it's actually demonstrated this by leaving us with the terminal here empty. So what we can do is go back to our files folder. And when we come back here, we're actually going to see the output of this code. If we click on this, something like this will pop up. And as you can see, it went from nine seconds down to three seconds, showing this is actually working. So hopefully this will be something that you guys can use for your videos to be able to edit your videos much faster and save yourself a lot of time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Please leave any questions or thoughts about what we saw here in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe. And if it helped, consider applauding to economically support this channel. See you in the next one. Take care.